All right, guys, after you've done the laser introduction where you've learned about a laser, what it is, how it works, what types of things you can do with it, the second assignment is going to be using Adobe Illustrator. Now, when we open that up, there's going to be several files here, and yours may look a little bit different than mine. Um, but the first thing I want you to do after you locate this is actually go open Adobe Illustrator, the program. So let's go to the start bar. And under the A, you're going to see Adobe Creative Cloud. Go ahead and expand that. And then we're going to open up Adobe Illustrator. And the icon is this orange AI. So go ahead and click that. It's going to take a few seconds to load. And once it loads up, the first thing we want to do is go back to Google Classroom and open up the template. We do not want to just create a new file or open something existing here. We want to use our template. So when you click on that, it's going to download to your downloads uh, bar here on the bottom. Click that to open it up. And as long as you have Illustrator open, it populates right here. Now, immediately you see this big ruler thing. And what this does is this is exactly the same size as the work platform in the, the PLS 675 or the big blue laser we have in the laser room. So the, there are also several settings that have been preset, which is why we need to use the template. Whereas if you go and open just uh, a new file, a lot of these settings will be different and won't print right. So always make sure for a laser file, you're starting with the template. All right, that said, we have all our tools on the left and we have some shortcuts over here on the right. Um, if you watch the the other video about Adobe Illustrator, it will give you a really good quick rundown of some of the basic tools we're going to use, like shapes. Um, this is a great uh, tool. So if we use the um, rectangle tool, we put a rectangle in, and then when I get my arrow back and I start clicking on stuff, you can kind of see some of the colors up here, which I'll talk about in a second video, but these colors are absolutely critical to communicate with the laser cutter what we want it to do. All right. That said, once I have a file complete, the way that you transfer this is to save as. You're going to put in a thumb drive and the format that we need to export to the laser is Adobe PDF. So make sure you name it something here that you can recognize later. Um, put it in your thumb drive, which is usually somewhere down here and you're just going to save it boom so now i have that file on my thumb drive which i can then export to the uh, laptop connected to the laser and run the file from there so go ahead and if you haven't already seen the video on how to use illustrator that's going to be the next one where we're going to want you to take a look at